Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan from Arnie Music. It's Saturday. It's vlog time. So excited. It's first Monday weekend. It's the big flea market in Canton. Weekend. Yay. So excited. wait for pedestrians to cross the four-lane highway so they can go shopping for knickknacks and snacks and things. Oh, I just dropped off our son, Aiden, at work. He works at Taco Bell. Works a full day shift on Saturdays. So, uh, our youngest is at the bell frying things. Uh, I have to go pick up my dad's truck because I'm going to use his truck to go to my sister's house uh, on Lake Palestine. Well, she has a little cabin on the lake in Lake Palestine. It's in, it's in quite disrepair. Uh, she hasn't been living in it in a long time. She actually lives in Tyler, Texas. <clears throat> Let's go this way. Avoid the first Monday traffic. So she has a little cabin on the lake. A little lake subdivision. That uh, she's trying to sell. And it needed some work on the... You know, the roof had some... A little bit of issues and... Some she rock and insulation on the inside need to be torn out. So that was the the goal today was to go help her do that because that's what little brothers do. But she called me yesterday or day before yesterday, and we've had we've had lots of massive storms coming through Texas. We had one come through yesterday, East Texas. But uh, I think earlier last week's big storm. Anyway, giant pine tree right next to our house dropped a limb, and it actually punctured through the roof. So I'm not going to be going and doing the sheetrock and insulation and, you know, siding repair. Uh, I'm going to be going to help her move what little furniture she has left in that cabin out into storage. So. And then go into Tyler. All right. So it's uh, Saturday. Saturday. I think the 29th, is it that right? It is Saturday, the 29th of April. Already music vlogs, let's go. Here at Lake Palestine, moving furniture for there's Ryan. We are dirty, and this has been a, an, an adventure. Adventure, getting into stuff though. Isn't he cute? He knows I love the backwards hat. He knows I do. All right. I might film a little bit of them. We'll see. There's Angel. Here's the, uh, the little lake cabin. My sister's had for a long time. She used to live here. And a couple of years ago, she moved into town with a friend. You see, it's not very big. Kind of overgrown. There's the limb. There's the tree limb. That fell out of that magnificently giant pine tree. Because this is East Texas. Lots of, I mean, this dude, this dude is, is big. I mean, 
case, unfortunately. Right up next to the house. I just put some wire up there to keep the squirrels out. See if you can see the lake. Right there past that yellow house. There's a Lake Palestine. I was saying right past that yellow house is Lake Palestine. Lake Palestine. Alright. So yeah, it's kind of an old an old thing. I, I helped roof it once. My brother-in-law and me did put a roof on a while back. Just missed it. There's my mom. Closing the windows. Missed mama RNA. She has a little lot. That's my mom's little barn she has here. What you got? Picking some flowers, and then there's a couple of berry bushes up on the line, so ah. I got them by the root, and I'm going to replant them at our house. How nice. I know. I just need to get an old jar or something and get some dirt. And oh, I think we have some dirt. Yeah. <laughs> and fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah, down by the root and some berries. Who are you making a video for? Oh, nobody. <laughs> Not somebody. Nobody. Ah. Uh -huh. Classy place to you? Yes, it does. Wow. I always forget how hilly Tyler is. He does have some house. Tyler Junior College, TJC Apaches. Boo. Apache Bellies. Boo. Poochie Bellies. <laughs> Ray used to live like right over there. She was going to college. She had a little place she shared with the roommate somewhere over here. It's probably mm -hmm. not even here anymore. Probably not. Kind of like our married housing is destroyed and tennis courts are there. <laughs> yeah. And SFA. SFSFA. We're back in Canton. Yay! We're on our two mile walk. Yep. It's like what, go four o'clock? Fell off the sidewalk. So yeah, we're walking close to downtown Canton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a 
little windy. Yes. It's a little windy. You might be able to hear it or see it. Right. <laughs> so excited. about 7 30 p.m i just kind of cleaned up my desk and the den you saw me play fetch with hetfield <clears throat> that little dude can just fetch like all day he just wants to fetch all day he's uh not not uh not quite a year old um this this august he'll be a year old so he's still just a, a baby schnauzer uh anyways so kind of mopped up the floor cleaned off my desk because it's I haven't been working at my desk at home in a really long time and so it's gotten dusty and dirty and cluttered with bills and mail and crap so I'm trying to get that set up because I've got to do uh, I want to be able to do some more uh, playing and practicing at home and uh, I usually keep my guitar amp set up next to my desk I had a little table but now that table is somewhere else a little table to put my little uh either my katana on or like actually lately i've brought home my my fender super champ xd that i was using uh at church or i was letting someone else kind of use at church i've got that home now and uh so i'm gonna i'm on the hunt i'm going to walmart i'm on the hunt for a little table to put my amplifier on next to my desk so i can get back to playing and practicing in front of my little big screen computer setup thing all right, off to Walmart. Cart cam engage.
turn that off so we don't get copyright infringement. Hey, I built my little thingy. It's one of these cube, cubicle, cube things. Uh, it's a little bigger than I want it to be for this particular particular uh, instance. I used to keep my, um, there's my Katana amp. We've got a little black table that was just small enough. I could set it next to my desk set the amp on it, and it would be about the height of my desk. That little dude, that is now the home of our router and modem. See how small it is? Amazing. Unfortunately, I can't find that little that little black table, you know, at Walmart or wherever. I mean, I could probably get one online, I guess, but. Um, so I don't know. These are great. these little cubicle things are great. We have a couple at the shop that we use, and they're awesome for storage. You can get the little inserts to put stuff in there. It's pretty sweet. Uh, the little cubes aren't quite big enough for my amp. My amp is bigger than that, and I don't want to put the amp on top of it because then the amp's going to like cover up the Les Paul. So I need a better solution. I said I was a practice guitar. I like to practice guitar here in the den, you know, where my desk is. <laughs> the desk and the guitars are in here. I don't like to, and I have my chair, and I have my laptop and all that kind of stuff. If I'm reading music or reading tablature or, you know, watching a video or playing along with something, I don't really have a good setup like that in the bedroom. I don't like to practice in the bedroom because there's nowhere really to sit comfortably to, to practice, so. I could move this in there and put the router on it, but that'd be a really waste of space. So I don't know, I'm gonna figure something out. My desk is messy. My tools, uh, interface, Macross. Bills, doggy crate, it's easy top, and Thor. Sunday morning, my mega blended coffee, protein French toast. Sunday with Ola. Uh -huh. mm. We're walking to first Monday now. Hello again. <laughs> Hello again. I was showing off my breakfast earlier. Oh, so. awesome. Because I didn't really wrap things up yesterday. Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't eaten anything. Concisely. I just, I, I just have had two cups of coffee. Oh man, two cups of coffee. That's why you're walking so fast. <laughs> so we're walking to first Monday so I can buy my Mexican vanilla. And things. Walkie, yep. uh, walkie. <laughs> I got so distracted at first Monday, I forgot to film any of the flea market. Dang it, Angela. Dang it, Ryan. You didn't remind me. Hey, film those crazy looking people. <laughs> That's like Walmart, but. Mm -hmm. It's like Walmart. I was gonna say, but I was gonna say a bit worse. It's not really worse. It's about no, the same. About the same. It's about the same. Just more people. <laughs> and it's outdoors. Yes. But we got our vanilla. Yes. And we got a drinky drink. Yes. We're walking back. So far, it's been a three mile walk. Yep. And we're not even home yet. Nope. <laughs> what, what, are we, are we what are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to Taco Bell for lunch. Because <laughs> our baby works at Taco Bell. Yes, he and does. On Sundays, we go have lunch with him on his lunch break. Mm -hmm. And we have Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Still first Monday, mm. and it's the traffic is a pain in the butt for a small town in East Texas. Yeah, it is. Because it's the main highway, you know, north and south. Mm -hmm. runs through Canton mm -hmm. and people will park across from the highway and try to walk across to get to the flea markets. Yes. The biggest flea market in America. Yes. So. And then people expect you to stop for them when they're not in the crosswalk. But if you're in a crosswalk, it's all good. Mm -hmm. So you start being crazy. 
Yes. It's not good. Like these kids were just trying to be. Run across a four lane highway? Yeah. yeah. It's... In front of a motorcycle. Right. Right when there's a crosswalk 10 feet away. Yes. So that's just dumb. It is dumb. All right. Here's uh, some of this goodness for here. you guys. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Traffic comes out of here. So all of that parking. At busy times of the day. I let that car out and now I'm stuck. Don't want to film people. Go ahead. All, right. All right, here we go. As you can see up there. There's multiple crosswalks. Crosswalk. And up there, they are legally walking across a crosswalk. So we won't run them over. <laughs> you have to wait for all the people and dogs and, and things. Okay, sir, if you're going to go, you need to you're gonna go, yeah. you gotta go. Just don't mosey. Yes, it's whenever they take their time. There have been people having conversation in the crosswalk. So you have, and this is just one of many. This isn't the main, this isn't the only parking place here in town. No. Get some of the grounds. They got their puppy dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we Ooh, just I left. That kid's a good little stand for right. No. <laughs> I'm gonna stay on the road, babe. I'm gonna stay on your road, babe. So we just left our lunch with Aiden. We didn't get any footage of that. We're so bad at vlogging. We we're are like the very, worst vloggers. We're really bad at vlogging. I think we used to be better at this. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Something like that. Something. I got a video of Hatfield playing fetch. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because, so, you, know. you know, that's what people want. The dogs are cool. All right. So, I'm going to give you all a quick view of the other side of the road that we were driving down because now we'll be all closer to first Monday. Here we go. Price checking. Mac and cheese is a dollar twenty-five. A dollar tree. Looking creamy. Uh, Original. That's one. Oh dang! See, Walmart's cheaper than Dollar Tree. You just except for this. These are like nine bucks for one at Walmart and three bucks here. Ooh, they got cappuccino. They got. They don't have this brand at Walmart. Well, there's that. You would love that. Some healthy snacks. Ooh, sweet tarts in a box. Sweet tarts in a box. I love those. Oh, you're going to get some? No, that's what you said. Oh. I thought you said get a box. No, I said. Oh. Yeah. Gonna get a I mean, yeah, I want a box, but I don't need a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy. You can totally have that. Yeah, it's like two eighty for two cakes. Oh, man. That seems reasonable. That's actually not bad. Could be worse. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Good God, 160 calories. I need me some Billy Gibbons sunglasses. 
cheap sunglasses. There's my uh, giant bottle of La Vincedora. Vanilla Pura. Vanilla. So this is what I got the first Monday. So excited. Ugh. Well, I decided to move my little cube shelf to the bedroom. So my dresser here and then the um, DVD case. Um, because I just had a bunch of books and DVDs that I didn't have room for in my shelf. So I just moved it in here. Amazing. So I've got uh, a bunch of books, DVDs, some VHS tapes, and then my little place to put my Fender Super Champ XD here uh, in the bedroom. Although I said I don't like practicing in the bedroom. And I don't really. But... Angela usually does a lot of her uh, computer work out of the living room on her laptop doing stuff. So if I'm in the den playing guitar while she's working in the living room, it can be distracting. So uh, I just don't want to go to the shop to practice. I mean, that would be ideal. I could go to the shop and practice and be as loud as I want and not disturb anybody or annoy anybody or, you know, distract uh, the boys from doing their work, or Angela doing her work, or whatever, but I don't want to go to the shop <laughs> on my days off, because then it feels like I work every single stinking day, and I, I kind of do work every single day, sort of, but if I'm not at the shop, then it feels like I'm not working. Anyways, all right, so that's, uh, this is our weekend vlog, a little bit of Saturday, a little bit of Sunday, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this return of the vlogs. We may, uh, Depending on how this one goes, how it's received, we may continue and do these every couple of weekends or so. That's Carter Beaufort. That's my Carter Carter Beaufort VHS tape. It's great. All right. See you guys next time. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. We need the music. See ya. Next video. Bye.